I joined the Canadian uh, Air Force as a helicopter pilot and spent uh, 16 years, much of that flying twin Hueys and Griffin helicopters and uh, working in flight test uh, in the military. So safety is in our, our DNA. It's in the design. We are designing the aircraft to 10 to minus 9. And it's what they use for airliners. It's what they use for uh, transport category helicopters. So it is really the, the, the gold standard for, for aerospace. It's as safe as you can get. I mean, if I get on an aircraft, I want to know that it is as safe as possible. And we don't want to have any doubt about that. I don't want to put my wife, my children, anyone's family at risk. And that's what the public expects. That's what the public deserves. Having a chase aircraft isn't just about getting photos. I mean, it's useful for that. But what we really want to do is have a professional pilot that knows exactly what's happening in that mission, is able to keep a safe distance from the aircraft under test, and provide the valuable feedback, whether it's airspeed, whether it's system performance, whether it's any sort of unusual characteristic, and also traffic. It's very normal. It's uh, it, not for every single flight but certainly for critical flights. There's a flight test pilot, uh, not just in the test aircraft, but also in the chase aircraft. And, uh, and we'll have an observer uh, in that aircraft as well. And by having uh, an experienced professional in that second aircraft looking at what's happening, it gives us as a test team that extra measure of security to, to know that, that there is nothing that has been overlooked. The test aircraft have been phenomenal. So this is an electric aircraft. And when we started the flight test campaign, we, as flight testers, are always skeptical. You know, how is it going to perform? Is it going to be reliable? Should we expect failures? We haven't seen any of that. So this is, this is a, a dream come true. I've been on programs where we've had oil leaks, hydraulic leaks, fuel leaks, or out-and-out -out system failures. And the robustness of the flight control computers or the electric propulsion units has been just absolutely a dream.